Hi viewers, in front of me is the VS dot S358 A dot 3.2 smart TV motherboard. Okay. Which is different from um, MSD 338 STV 5.0. So, this is not the normal 3 in 1 motherboard, this is a single board. So, for me to get this working, I have to connect a backlight driver to it to drive the, the screen lights. Then uh, I use a 12 volts power supply okay so the problem with this is that it normally comes with um, 1920 time by 1080 resolution which is the which is the full HD but if you are to install it on a normal HD HD screen at 136 is by 768 it will not work just like what I'm having in front of me so but i'll show you how to make it work so as you can see this is a 32 inches tv with resolution 136 by 768 so this board will not work on it unless i install the right firmware so i'll show you how to do that the firmware i will add a link to my i will add the link to my description please um do subscribe to my channel so that i can get you more info and if there's any question please um feel free feel free to drop it on the comments below So now I want to power it. See? Okay. Okay. So it's on, but there's no image. The light is on, but no image. So. I have the firmware in here so I'm going to flash it to enable it to work on this display so first and first I unplug it then I plug this behind all right it's plugged okay so let me power it Okay, it's flashing. That's it. Okay, backlight is on. But it's flashing. Let's just wait for it to finish flashing. Okay, has so many features like um, the browser, media center for for your external drives, then the app center where you can download and install third-party apps and things like that. So um, let's go to. The media oh, 
okay all right this is now it's not connected to the internet so i have to exit this since i didn't connect to the internet well let's go to the media center okay move it from usb okay so um, okay have some movies here The display is wonderful. Picture quality is clear, and the interface. One thing about this this um, motherboard is different from other China Universal motherboard. Maybe because of the Android OS it's using. So the interface is lovely. Okay. Yeah.